Oak is hard to get and fur is even harder. Today I'm going to show you how to get lots of oak and fur with the least amount of resources possible. The first resource we're going to talk about is time and energy. It was very nice of Kiefer to change the energy system so that this distance is only 49 minutes away instead of an hour and a half which is what it would have been in their old system. But 49 minutes is still a long time so we want to make every trip as effective as possible. I recommend bringing two or three water bottles that you can throw away after using them, eight iron hatchets, two machetes, and two stacks of good food. You will want a military backpack. If you don't know how to get one of those, you should go watch my video on how to get a military backpack first and then come back and watch this one. One set of gear should be enough, but you need to make sure it is at least tier two gear because otherwise you will only have two minutes before you start to freeze. When you're geared up, head to the yellow zone. Don't use your energy because you're gonna need that later. Just go do something in real life for 50 minutes. Once you arrive, walk around the outskirts and cut down the oak trees that are easy to get to. If you stay far enough to the outside, you should only get attacked by one toxic spitter at a time. It is important to not allow your stink level to get red. By the time you go all the way around the perimeter, almost all of the toxic spitters should be dead, which means that you can start going in a little bit and getting some of the trees a little bit closer to the center. If you see a fox, try to sneak up on it. This is where it's important to not let your stink level get red. There are a lot of toxic abominations and floater bloaters in this zone and we are trying to avoid them. The fox might see you and run off. Don't chase after it. Just be patient. It'll come back. Sometimes the fox will run in range of an enemy while you're in mid swing. That's okay. Just run and grab the fur and then go reset the area. As long as you don't damage the enemy, it won't come after you when you get back. After you kill around five foxes, head over to the watchtower. If you want to use energy, I like to wait 53 seconds so that you can save two energy. Then head back using the same method and then do it again. If you're careful, you should be able to farm the yellow zone four times before your stink level hits red, which means that you will come home with 150 oak and somewhere around 20 fur pelts, which is in my opinion a good run. Now I know some of you are probably thinking that it is smarter to go to the red zone instead of the watchtower because it's only six seconds further and you could farm just a few trees before heading over to the yellow zone. I too thought that that was a good idea, but almost every time it turned out to be a bad idea. Your chances of getting into a situation where you can't dodge a toxic spirit are way more likely in the red zone. And you can only get hit six or seven times before you turn red. So unless you have the fingers of a ninja, just don't go there. Now many of you will turn red before you finish your fourth run, even if you don't go to the red zone. If this happens, finish farming all the oak that you want to bring home. And then if you have enough food and armor left over, then you can still grab a few furs using this method. Foxes are fast, but they will eventually cut back and cross your path, allowing you to get a hit off on them. Ideally, you would do this manually so that you can dodge the red areas, but that takes a little bit of coordination. So if you're having trouble with that, then just chase the fox until you see the red crosshairs on him and then click the weapon once. Your guy will automatically chase him and then attack at the first opportunity. Meanwhile, you just focus on making sure you stay healed. After the second hit, do a little loop-de-loop, -loop, grab the fur, and run for the exit. If you follow this technique well and grab the fur boots that I showed you how to get in my video about getting the military backpack, you should be able to craft a complete set of fur armor after just two runs. Honestly, I don't recommend farming for a lot of oak right now, and if you do, I recommend not refining your wood unless you need it to build something, and I strongly recommend not building a single level 3 wall right now. Kiefer likes to make things really difficult when they first release an update so that all the wealthy players will waste a lot of resources, which is smart because it lets newer players catch up, but it's probably wise for us to not waste too many resources while it's so difficult. Well, that's it guys hope that helps. I'll be posting a video on how to get copper and steel sometime soon, but before I do, I'm hoping to make a video especially for those of you who do not yet have a motorcycle.